Hello, I'm Yen Ho, Professor of Cardiac Morphology. My special interest is in heart structure. And therefore, in this series of sessions that we present here, I will review the heart from the very basics to more detailed structures. The heart is a muscular organ with two upper chambers and two lower chambers. The two upper chambers, one receives the deoxygenated blood from all over the body, including from the heart muscle itself. The other upper chamber, which is on the left side, receives the oxygenated blood from the lungs. Now the two upper chambers then send blood down to the muscular pumping chambers, the ventricles. On the right side, we have the right ventricle that then pumps the blood that is deoxygenated to the lungs for oxygenation. On the left side, the oxygenated blood from the upper chamber is sent to the lower chamber, which is a very muscular pumping chamber, in order to send blood up the aorta to supply the whole body of the human being, including the arteries that supply the heart muscle themselves. In order for the heart to function efficiently as a pumping organ, there need to be valves guarding the junctions between the chambers. So we have then between the upper chambers and the lower chambers two sets of valves. It's one on the right side, one on the left side. And guarding the junction between the pumping chambers themselves, the very muscular pumping chambers, and the pulmonary trunk or the artery leading to the lungs is another valve. Whereas in the middle of the heart, as we can see here, is the aortic valve, which guards the junction between the muscular left ventricle, which is the main pumping chamber of the heart, um, to push blood into the vessel that supplies the whole body. The four chambers displayed here show two upper receiving chambers that are thin-walled and two lower chambers which are the major pumping chambers of the heart. We see on one side the thinner right-walled right ventricular chamber and on the other side the much thicker walled left ventricular chamber. Now, guarding the upper and the lower chambers are the two sets of valves that have leaflets, fine strand-like structures attaching the leaflets to the uh, pillar-shaped muscles that insert to the ventricular walls. Proper functioning of the heart depends very much on the integrity of these valve uh, structures and as well as the coronary system that provides blood to the heart muscle. The coronary arteries come off from the base of the aortic valve. We can see here the left coronary artery and the right coronary artery. And over here, the leaflets of the aortic valve in closed position. Competence of the aortic valve is very important for proper functioning of the heart. And the coronary arteries are important for supplying blood to the heart muscle for it to function properly. This series of talks takes the viewer through the normally structured heart, the basics of the chambers, as well as the detailed arrangement of the structures inside the heart. It shows very nicely in this special production 
the three-dimensional nature of the cardiac structures, both on the right side, as we see here, and over here on the left side. Three of the four heart valves are shown in this dissection. On the right lower side, we have the tricuspid valve guarding the border between the upper chamber on the right and the right ventricular chamber deeper into the picture. On the left side, we have the mitral valve guarding the junction between the left atrial chamber, which receives the oxygenated blood, and the left ventricular chamber, which is again deep into the picture. Right in the middle here, we have the aortic valve, which guards the border between the left ventricle and the aorta, which is the big vessel of the heart supplying blood to all parts of the body. <laughs> 